Welcome to Waffle TV. Today I'm here with Lucy Paul. How are you doing? Hello, I'm great. How are you? Very, very well, thank you. <laughs> so why the title of your show, Cry Me a Liver? Um, because it's funny. Yeah. Uh, and because it's um, in my kind of line of thinking with the show, which is everybody's got problems, so cry me a litter. Yeah. You right. know, um, it's silly, but it has a deeper meaning to it, and mm -hmm. the title has both of that in that. But to be honest with you, um, uh, I came up with that title in a desperate moment of, <laughs> of not knowing what to call an evening that I had signed up for in New York. Right. Yeah. So yeah, I thought, fuck, cry me a <laughs> river, Lucy, cry me a liver. And then um, it took on its own meaning through the characters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're all kind of like voiceless voices, or like um, maybe people or things or characters that you wouldn't normally listen to yeah. or, or lend an ear to, and that are all kind of searching for happiness in a way and trying to survive in New York. And so all of that is in the title for me. But you know, as long as it gets a laugh. So have you got a lot of different accents and stuff in the show? Yeah, I've got a lot of different accents in the show. Um, there's an Italian guy. There's the um, mandatory New York homeless man, of course. There's like kind of like an airhead character who's like really like, like you want like Americans to talk like this? <laughs> and like, that's how she talks. And um, there's a Russian character that's um, Putin's sperm. <laughs> And um, there's a southerner, like from the southern, um, from the south of the U.S. Mm -hmm. It's a little early. My brain doesn't. <laughs> and th there's a German character. Yeah. There's cool. a bunch of different. So how would you describe the style of comedy in your show? It's character comedy. Yeah. It's definitely a little bit on the darker side. Cool. Um, it definitely has a little bit of a bite to it. Yeah. It's, uh, but it's also pretty silly at times. Um, yeah. yeah. Is, that, is that good enough for yeah, genres? <laughs> so you're actually somewhat related to Brecht, is that right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, my mom uh, is his niece, basically, uh -huh. so I am, I guess, the great niece. All right, cool. Yeah. That's amazing. So do you feel like... The great niece. The great niece. The great. Yeah. <laughs> the best great niece. Because you come from a very sort of theatrical and sort of performing family. Do you feel like yeah. that sort of really shaped you to be the performer that you are today? or? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, I grew up in theater. I grew up around crazy people. And, um, you know, I grew up just uh, seeing and living that all the time. Mm -hmm. So so for sure, yeah, I'd be lying if I, I mean, of course. Yeah, it definitely of course, yeah. Had an influence on me and... And, you know, crazy things happening and stories. And we were, everybody's about storytelling. Mm -hmm. And I guess that's what it's all about. At yeah, the end, exactly. you know. So, um, so yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. So definitely. why should people come and see your show? Um, because it's bloody good. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it's fun. It's funny. It, it'll make you think. And also it's from New York. It's different than um, what you're going to see here. Uh, and I think it's really cool also because I'm a woman and I play a lot of different men in the show. Oh, right. Cool. And um, so I like it for that as well. I like to tell people, you know, you can come and see that. Women can do anything and they can play anything and they don't have to only be like the sexy chick or the, the um, yeah, play the characters that men want them to play. Yes, exactly. Great. Well, thank you so much for coming and speaking to us. Thank you. You've been watching Waffle TV.